while we are talking here millions of new life are being born in this planet reproduction and multiplication of lives is one of the most significant phenomenon in nature that sustains us the drive to mate is natural and biological humans are arguably one of the only species where the urge is more recreational than procreational if not handled properly this can transform into intense lust and can potentially cause a lot of troubles in our life humans they experience these feelings and emotions naturally and why because their human body is structured like that they secrete hormones and these hormones really really bring all these emotions naturally so now we should understand that these emotions are required for procreation but we humans don't understand this and we use these emotions for recreation for our pleasure and that's where we have to control ourselves in human definitely the purpose is emotional purpose we want to care and caress emotionally person sexual activities at emotional level is fine no problem but when it goes beyond your control then it would be a very big problem and that will get converted into lust now any activity when we do we need energy and here in these sexual activities lots of energy is utilized yogis were very clear they have divided the energy of, of our body in five ways pran apan udan vyan and saman these are the energies and yogis saw to it that our energy is not let loose like that the energy has to be uplifted and come up to this agya chakra and to our sahasra these techniques are very strong and person when they apply these techniques they really have mastery over your energy and when person has mastery over energy then he is empowered he is a person who can make his mind steady stable at one place mind focused concentrated and when person achieves that he can achieve anything in his life there is a very famous story of sage vishwamitra vishwamitra was a great sage great tapasvi he was called as yogarshi but he wanted to become brahmarshi the highest level and so again he started doing his tapasya lots of tap lots of meditation and once it happened that he was about to sit in his meditation and he found one beautiful lady coming towards him and she was expressing her love and she throws herself to him and then here is a cool breeze lovely flowers good fragrance all that created such a strong enchanting atmosphere that vishwamitra forgot the purpose and he fell in love with this lady when love and if uncontrolled love lust takes over then person loses his focus in life and then he suffers in life so destruction caused by that lustful desire is what fall of the mightiest other effect of lust is immorality here the vivek buddhi is gone what is right what is wrong that understanding is gone and so what happens extra marital affair forced abuse sexual abuses and rapes with lust what happens person forgets his duty boy and a girl they were very much in love and it went to quite an extent but they both were helping each other to study in seeing that person does physical fitness also person is healthy also the point is when you forget your dharma your duty then the problem start let us understand difference between love and lust lust is something which is conditional here person is forced to do certain acts uncontrolled emotion and lust will create lots of problem because he will not think about somebody else he will take body as a commodity body as a thing for pleasure and that is very very harmful against it love love is a beautiful feeling 
in love it is unconditional in love person thinks for others feels for others happiness cares for others and that is what the love means so now i give you one very interesting story of sati ansuya here was a sati lady totally dedicated to her husband her husband was a great sage and they both were really living a very pious life this sati ansuya was really really beautiful all the gods were quite attracted towards this woman and our main gods brahma vishnu and mahesh they thought that let us test her purity and so they converted themselves into young handsome man and they reached ansuya and told ansuya that lady you are so beautiful we just can't control ourselves we want to make love with you ansuya very coolly heard these statements and then she said that well i would accept you as my kids my children and when she said that all the three gods they got converted into small babies a little infants and in her lap all these three small babies were there and ansuya took care of all these little babies fed them took care of them lived with them played with them sang with them all that started this whole game was beautiful to see and then what happened god's wives here parvati ma here lakshmi ma and saraswati ma they all were worried that where their husband had gone and then they found out that they have become a baby with sati ansuya all the goddesses they came and requested sati ansuya that please let us have our husbands in their normal form and then all the three came in their original form sati saw them they really blessed sati and they said that sati you are really pure you are a real embodiment of motherhood this love whole world should understand you are going to have a child which will have all three of us in that child child will have three heads head of brahma head of vishnu and head of mahesh and the the child was born that child's name was dattatreya and that dattatreya god he was such a great guidance he taught people how really they should be having their values their life so correctly that the life would be purest and better that love would be natural that tatre was asked who are your guru and that tatre said once you are in a learning state anything can be your guru right from ant to dog to cloud to breeze to anything and that message that all of us should be in a learning state always so understand this word love love is visible in caring that thinking for others attending to others giving happiness to others joy to others that is where the love is visible and we should be living this type of a life well so keep in mind that not lust it is love and pure love that has to permeate all over namaskar